All right, you guys, so I'm gonna wash my makeup brushes. It is time, it is way past time. Um, these are the brushes I use every day. Um, I use my sponge, and it's really, really, really important to wash your brushes. Why? Number one, makeup application can be better if you have clean brushes. Number two, it holds a lot of bacteria. So if you struggle with acne breakouts that aren't normal, um, and you're getting some breakouts, that there could be a reason that your brushes need to be cleaned suggested clean them once a week. If you're like me, clean them maybe once a month. Maybe. <laughs> For those that don't know, I am about to have a baby in like four and a half days, four, three and a half days at this point, three and a half days. Oh my gosh. So I think it's time to clean the brushes because I'm going to tell you uh, some ways to kind of tips and tricks. We're not going to wash them all because that would take forever. Um, however, are going to want some type of cleanser, right? Some kind of cleaner. Um, I'm going to be using the tea tree soap. And the reason I use tea tree soap is because tea tree has like antibacterial inside of it. Um, and so, sorry, that's loud. It smells really, really good. I'm not a huge tea tree smell person, but this smells really good. Very, very fresh. Also, when I'm washing my brushes, here's what I did to the towel. Okay. Rolled it. And I'm gonna lay it flat just like this. And the reason I'm gonna do that is because, let's say after I wash my brushes here, wash them and then I'm going to prop them up like this, okay? So they're actually at an angle. And so the reason is because if you, definitely if you store them like this, this is a no-no because all the water is gonna get down and it's gonna actually kind of disintegrate the glue and your bristles are gonna fall out eventually, right? You also don't wanna dry them down because that's bad, right? You learn that in art class, art 101. <laughs> so drying them at an angle allows the water to kind of naturally come out from the uh, glue section um, and to dry, right? So that is just my tip. So let's get started. Okay, so I'm gonna take my, I've got my water running. I'm gonna take my soap, wet my brush, and I'm literally just gonna paint on top of it. <laughs> that's it, okay? I'm like painting on top of it. And then get it all in there. I'm just gonna use my hand. Now, they sell little silicone pads that you can use. Um, I find this works just as fine. I'm sure it's a little bit faster with the silicone bristles and pads, but that's just one more thing to clean and keep up with. So I don't do it. So now we're super clean. So now I'm going to kind of roll it on the on the uh, towel here. And then we're gonna let it dry. Okay, we're gonna keep going, do a few more. I'll show you how I do my sponge. That's not cute. So we just rub it on the soap. Rub it all over. And we're going to massage it just like so. <laughs> and sometimes the sponge takes a little bit more time just because it does absorb the water. But look how much cleaner it is already. Yeah. Good stuff. Good stuff. Also, you could cut your tea tree soap into like fourths and save some. Um, to have smaller portions, but I, I like the big soap because I have big brushes, big brushes, um, and it's just easy. Sponges are the hardest because you do want to get the soap out of it, but it cleans it really, really well. This is my foundation brush. It needs to be clean. So much better already. I like to hit my foundation brush again. Again, I don't clean my brushes often. So I like to really get in there and get that foundation out. When your water runs clean and clear, you know your brushes are clean. And we'll do one more. Let's just do my eyeshadow brush. Okay. So here we go. Cleaning, cleaning. Getting all sides. Just like that. 